Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the recent Lead Code Contest 213. Count sorted value value strings. So this one is a little bit tricky uh, for me to explain my solution, but I'll explain the solution. And the way that I had it was, uh, and I don't think this is fast enough. But I think it's, fa to be honest, the crappy thing is that I think this is actually fast enough in C++, but it is not fast enough in uh, Python, I don't think. Uh, and there are a couple of ways you can do to go around it. But the, the way that I would t talk about it is just by brute force. Um, hmm. So you could look at it brute force as kind of like um, a breath first search kind of way. So what I would have done or what I did, uh, and you watch me solve this during the contest, I actually did this, where it's basically a, like a level, level, um, level search, what? A level first search, where basically you just generate all the, num all the characters for, all the characters with length one, all the characters for length two, all the characters for length three and so forth, building, making sure that it is increasing, right? And then the first, and then for me, um, it seems okay. It seems fast enough. It actually ends up being taking two seconds to calculate n is equal to fifty. And I would say in in other judges, I might have just submitted it to be honest. But for this one, uh, especially on lead code, where it's the combination of or, or it's um. You know, the TLE is the time limit exceeded is defined by the sum of the test cases right, instead of individual ones. So what I did was I was like, okay, that's too slow. I think if I had time, uh, I would have generate because N is only less than 50. Uh, we could generate the 50 numbers and then put in a lookup table and then just return the lookup table. Um, but the thing that I noticed is that when I looked, uh, I actually used did it like three, four, five, something like that. And you actually look at 50 to see it as well. But but I had that brute force code and you could watch me solve it live during the contest for that code for level first search. So I was like, okay, 316 is not that long. So, um, but the thing that I noticed is just this pattern, uh, 515, 35, 70, 126. And it comes up here and there. Uh, I didn't recognize it immediately, but I actually took an extra second. I was like, wait, I actually, to be frank, I actually solved this in a recent contest uh, on Code Force, I believe, um, where that is exactly the answer as well. So, um, so like maybe a week ago, to be honest. So that's why I was like, oh, it's just this formula. Um, I think on the Co Code Force version, there's it n could be much bigger, so you have to use modular inverse and stuff like that. But that's not relevant here. But yeah, but after noticing that, I just like okay, then I could just implement this. And that's basically what I did. I wasn't sure about the offset, so I just uh, double checked this. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, so basically, I brute force by using a level first search. And the way that I did is I had something like um, current is equal to, I start with empty string. I do next level is equal to empty string. And then it's pretty straightforward, actually. So I go for, for the, in range of n um, for current, oh sorry, for s in current, say like this is the current string the, uh, that you're processing, and for maybe some k in a l u, right? Um, and then if the last character of s is greater than x and k, and also if less is it greater than zero or if it's equal to zero or this, uh, we, we just do next level can um, append s plus k, right? Uh, and then at the way next, we do the current is equal to the next level, and then we reset next level. So this is actually all you need. Uh, this is a level first search, and if we have just ignored this, um, so you can just do return then of uh, current. And you get the same answer. I mean, this was a little bit slow for me to kind of get worried and that's why I did it the other way. Uh, some of it is because I recognized it right in YOLO, but, but that's how I kind of came up with this answer and I saw the pattern. Um, yeah, 
So that is Q2. Let me know what you think. Uh, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest now. Okay. That was an annoying one for Q1. Not quite right. So if okay. oh, well. Be kidding me. In two seconds, is that too slow? Mm. Let me double check. Feels a little too slow to be honest. Is this cabin on it? Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let me know what you think about my explanation this far. Every question you ask, I'll get better at answering them in the future preemptively. I'll see you later. Take care.